good morning guys and welcome back to the channel uh, today's topic is uh, about forgetting we are going to discuss about and under this uh, we will read or we will discuss about what is forgetting we will discuss about causes of forgetting and under the causes of forgetting we have almost uh, there are four kinds of uh, causes for it that is uh, interference and second one is encoding organization and retrieval problems uh, third one is uh, motivated forgetting and the fourth one is uh, amnesia okay under amnesia we will discuss about biological as well as psychological amnesias so this is our today's topic of discussion which we are going to discuss in this video so let's start our day with the today's topic of forgetting see what it says about the forgetting over here it says i just let me change the color here okay so forgetting what the uh, forgetting is forgetting refers to the loss of information from long term memory okay it is a loss of information from the long term memory so in exam the question may be asked that forgetting refers to the loss of information from dash and they can give the option from a long term memory short term memory or whatever it is right other two more options can be added so you should remember that and we all forget things like uh, loved ones birthday and this is very very common thing that we all forget the things and here example given we can forget somebody's birthday we can forget someone's name we can forget to sometime our keys etc okay so now what are the causes of forgetting why do we forget the things that we will discuss now okay so forgetting is a failure to retrieve information if you see if you will try to define so it is a, a forgetting is a failure to retrieve information from the long term memory store retrieve means to uh, recollect it okay much of the information is the lost but enough remains okay and uh, it is a very very important part in the human life that we need to forget also because if you will not uh, forget the thing then the new memory will not get space in it right so in order to make the space in the brain uh, for the new things to get inside it is very much necessary for human beings to forget the past uh, so that we have a sketchy record of our lives sometimes what we think is forgotten is re in real said is not forgotten sometimes there are certain things we think that we have forgot but we do not because when we try to recall it so it come back to our mind now a uh, question here is that uh, you know like we have heard that the many people or the students they complain that they do not remember so what is the cause why do they forget right so there are the various causes right so one of them is like the lack of attention also so this happens the lack of attention happens due to some information does not reach the short term memory from the sensory register or due to inadequate encoding and rehearsal the information may not be transferred from short term to long term okay the information is not able to transfer there okay so information was not stored in the long term memory because the rehearsal was not sufficient or sufficiently elaborate okay now further we are discussing about the some of the common factors okay which are responsible for getting things so among this the first important uh, the or i can say that one of the main cause of forgetting is uh, interference okay now if we talk in simple language that what the interference interference means okay so it is uh, an act of interfering right when interfere in something like supposing some two people are talking and interfering between them so they don't remember supposingly somebody is counting knots and you interfere in between or so doing some kind of mental calculation and you interfere so they forget the thing right so this is what uh, an act of interfering is known as called interference and what it says here according to this explanation what we do in the interval between the learning and recall okay between learning and recall determines the course of uh, forgetting okay it means to say that you have prepared for an examination here okay you are preparing 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 and okay and here is your final exam date but in between you have done so many other activities you have gone somewhere like uh, there was a gap of 7 days so you have been for traveling somewhere right so what will happen that whatever you have learnt that will be not remain in your mind in that much amount which is required okay probabilities are that that you may forget the things faster right so that is the why because this interference of traveling has come between your learning and your exam time so this is what it is saying that this is what uh, how this is determined by it now experimental studies have shown that learning new things okay learning new things uh, interfere with the memory of what is learned earlier and prior learning interferes with the memory of things learned later okay our next point says uh, it's point number 2 about uh, causes of forgetting Uh, second cause is encoding 
uh, organization and retrieval problems okay so now if you will see at the very first word that is called encoding or encode something right when you encode something it means to express the meaning of something okay it can be a language or any code language or any message or something okay uh, organization of the uh, thought pro of the information uh, retrieval problems retrieval problems means like the information information collection problem and if i simply give you the uh, synonym for it so it could be your recovery okay so people have the information in their mind but they find it difficult to recover it like sometimes this happen in your mind like you know that certain topic you have read uh, you have prepared and when you go to in the exam and that particular topic comes but you are not able to retrieve that information you are not able to recover it okay then your mind says ki yes i have studied this i have studied this somewhere right but still you are not able to collect the data uh, let's see what it says if the stored information is not encoded okay uh, well or organized at the time it was learned it is forgotten okay if you do not uh, uh, comprehend it if you do not organize it in a proper way so chances are that that you may forget it so what is this organization means like if you are preparing for your examination so you prepare certain notes you have certain notebooks where you write down your main points key points so why do you do that is an organization so that helps you to remember things okay uh, now ret retrieval or the re uh, recovery cues are the also important in the memory as we may not be able to recall information in one situation but may spontaneously remember it in the another situation now retrieval is facilitated by organization organization of uh, uh, stored material and the presence of the uh, retrieval cues uh, that can guide our uh, uh, search through long term memory for stored information in absence of proper retrieval cues the shout for items stored in the long term memory are not to be uh, found okay okay a third cause of forgetting is our motivated forgetting now what is this in motivated forgetting this include your emotional factors okay emotional factors are also responsible for learning the thing okay if what kind of environment a child is supposedly a child is coming from a very uh, maybe poor but also the child is seeing like a lot of domestic violence and other things at home so probabilities are that that his mind will remain in that only he or she may not be able to remember the things not be able to concentrate on the learning part which uh, he or she supposed to do it so that could that can cause or that can add something to the failure in his life so emotional factors plays a very key, uh, key role in this emotional factor also plays an important role if we encode the information while in one emotional state and try to recall it in while in another state okay our recall suffers means if we won't be able to remember it okay what we have learnt in like supposing we have learnt something in a very happy mood and now the same thing i have been asked to you when you are angry so you may our mind may not be able to recall it that so many lapses of memory in the daily life illustrate motivated forgetting we may forget the names of the people we do not like okay it's very very simple because that's the emotional the emotions you have you do not like something so you don't remember that now uh, repression theory hold that we forget because the retrieval or the recovery of memories would be painful okay that is why sometime our mind doesn't want to remember that okay or unacceptably in, a, in some way to the person okay the freud one of the famous psychologist freud in his book uh, what was the name of the book is the psychopathology of everyday life had illustrated uh, illustrated many example of uh, repression in forgetting okay repression includes the retrieval failure for the association of threatening anxiety provoking information now this anxiety it means that you are worry the anxiety or guilt producing material are more often forgotten okay if any material which gives you more anxiety and guilt okay so there are more chances that you easily forget that okay then the pleasant experience you always remember like for example if you go to uh, some nice place for vacation maybe kullu manali or somewhere so you remember that memories for a long time okay supposing in a particular class uh, you were scolded by the teacher okay chances of forgetting what happened in the class would be higher right when a child gets scolded by a teacher in the classroom right in the front of other so probabilities are that the child may forget that topic his mind doesn't want to keep that memory in the mind now psychologists have also found that some persons cannot forget unpleasant experience easily but this is something opposite in some cases 
some people they remember the unpleasant thing for a long time they have related this to phenomenon there with personality okay some stood the information is of threatening and anxiety arousing that its retrieval is possible only under the special circumstances like hypnosis free associations okay now the another psychologist that is jiang grinick a russian psychologist demonstrated through the experiment that incomplete task are remembered longer than the complete task okay if something remain incomplete so we remember it for a long time rather than the complete task okay this is sometimes called jengrnik effect for they said that ego oriented person the people those who have more ego in them right ego oriented person remember more of the complete task as incomplete task generated more anxiety okay so ego oriented person what they remember they remember a complete task on the other hand the task oriented person okay those who are the task oriented persons remember more of the incomplete task okay, if, if somebody is task oriented so that person will try to finish his work and if something remain incomplete so person will think oh i have not done this particular thing still it is left it is pending right so as for them the incomplete task is more painful for task oriented people while completed task is uh, are not so okay and all these findings are related to the tension theory of uh, kurt levin so who has given that uh, tension theory it is given by kurt levin okay the last reason of forgetting is uh, amnesia what this amnesia amnesia refers to the loss of memory due to disease it's a kind of a disease okay uh, so that is known as called your amnesia okay so next we have amnesia now what this uh, amnesia Okay, so next we have amnesia. Now, what is this amne- amnesia? Amnesia. Uh, the dictionary meaning is a medical condition in which somebody partly or completely loses their memory. Uh, and here it is says that amnesia is a loss of memory due to disease. Loss of memory due to disease. Amnesia is a general disease of memory. Uh, amnesia is a profound mem- memory deficit due to either the loss of what has been stored or to the inability to form the new memories when somebody is not able to form the new memory also that is also the part of amnesia disease now this amnesia is of two type that is one is the biological and the second one is your uh, psychological well, all right so we will discuss this uh, one by one the so first we have a biological amnesia so what is this biological amnesia uh, it says that uh, forgetting could be uh, due to any of the following reasons the diseases uh, of the brain like uh, senile dementia okay that is known as called uh, senile dementia okay i have split it into the three so you can understand it uh, senile dementia uh, it says uh, if i tell you the general meaning of this so this is a serious mental disorder especially in old people that cause the loss of memory and loss of control even of their body part but here in the sense of memory we are talking about it okay so uh, senile dementia is a brain damage uh, brain infections tumor stroke temporary disturbances in the blood supply or effect of the high dose of the alcohol and drug abuse now this senile dementia is characterized by deficit of many intellectual abilities like memory attention judgment abstract thought that can occur in the aged people right so people they lose this abilities of their intellectual abilities they lose that they lose the judgment thought they, they lose their ability to uh, remember okay. uh, personality changes like excessive dependence and ir- irritability are the common at this stage when the person grows right yeah. the person has the trouble remembering events and they also have the uh, they cannot remember the event like that could be somebody's birthday somebody's marriage anniversary or anything that happened after the onset of the onset means starting of this disease of, of biological amnesia thus the person with uh, this disorder has trouble learning and cannot recall well okay uh, he cannot even remember that what happened last month what happened yesterday or even the few hours ago the senile dementia is usually the result of reduction in the blood flow to the brain and what is the cause of that there is a reduction in the blood flow to your brain means the blood supply is less in that case to your brain uh, most of the pa- patients with uh, this disorder have brain uh, atrisosclerosis okay this is what does it mean 
uh, uh, this uh, artery sclerosis means the narrowing of the small arteries of the brain due to the fat accumulation in them okay uh, and that this, this deprives the brain cells of uh, adequate supply of the oxygen that is means the brain does not get a sufficient exercise or supply of the oxygen and nutrients so that the, some cells die uh, and other uh, malfunction okay so this are the two kind of biological disorders which causes the loss of memory beside this alcohol and drugs okay they also cause uh, amnesia okay a person who takes a lot of alcohol they also forget the thing okay Be the influence of the alcohol because encoding and storage process have been disrupted by the effect of the alcohol on the brain okay so heavy drinking over a period of time cause this problem okay next we have uh, psychological amnesia so this type of amnesia occur due to psychiatric diseases okay where the person loses his identity also uh, this may not be permanent loss uh, this childhood amnesia is due to childhood amnesia is due to the difference in the way the young children and the older people encode and store information as adult much of our memory is encoded verbally okay and tied into the networks that are based on the language but young child without language encodes the memories in the non verbal form okay perhaps storing information as a image or the feeling okay so generally the children, as a adult we store the information as the words in our mind but the children uh, those who are especially have the language difficulty or those who are not able to speak properly they store the information in the form of image or their feelings uh, early childhood memories are the, the said to be stored in the form of uh, form no longer available to us as the verbal adults our language dominated memories okay do not have the retrieval cues appropriate for gaining access to the image and feeling memories of the early childhood now perhaps the memory machine is just not uh, able to store the long term memories until its maturation is essentially finished language ability and memory developed together because both depend on the brain maturation we all experience that dreams are forgetting and waking up dream amnesia may actually have a biological basis the dreaming uh, brain seems to be a special state different from that of the waking brain okay so dream amnesia is also given over here okay another kind of amnesia is a defensive amnesia okay uh, the people with defensive amnesia they may forget their names okay where they have come from they forget their place of origin uh, who their spouse is they even forget the name of the spouse and many other important details of their past lives also they forget now it is called a defensive because this type of amnesia is usually considered to be a way of protecting oneself from the guilt or anxiety okay that can result uh, from intense intolerable life situations and conflicts okay. here another factor is the normal aging aging is also one of the problem okay uh, with the age also the people they start forgetting so aging has its problems too but uh, the typical forgetfulness of the old age is hardly severe enough to be called amnesia in normal aging the the memory problem centers largely okay the memory memory become a problem as you might have noticed that old age people are not able to remember the things uh, properly right they forget the things very quickly uh, centers largely on the stores of uh, relatively recent event uh, it is uh, entrograde in nature but in uh, marked contrast to uh, senile dementia patients normal old people are able to compensate for their mild memory uh, problems uh, Uh, they try to do the less and thus put a smaller burden on their information processing system they cannot put much pressure to recall or to recover or to retrieve the information they provide themselves with uh, remember reminder cues okay perhaps by writing down so what they do they prefer to write down the things what is to be remembered okay and they organize their lives into the routines so that the fewer things need to be remember okay they try to organize their lives okay so as far as possible they don't have to give more pressure on their brain to retrieve the information so this happened during the old age also so this is all about our today's topic of discussion that is about forgetting last topic we have already done about memory today we have done with forgetting and the causes of forgetting so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day bye bye